Today I'm going to show you how you can get an image that you find online, either for free or by purchasing one, and add your own designs to it. So for my example here, I know that a lot of Etsy shops sell designs on mugs. So this kind of a mock-up is something that a lot of people would need. And so I like to source my free commercial use images from Pexels.com. So I went to Pexels and in the search bar I typed in coffee mug and it came up with lots of cute results. But results like this where you have a steep angle are going to be um, too hard for you if you're new to Photoshop to just do as your first project. So I wouldn't recommend starting with something like this. Try and find an image where there's a coffee mug that's fairly straight head on like this one. So um, what I did was I downloaded and saved that image and then I opened up a new Photoshop file with it. And that's what I have right here. And I'm going to turn this off for a second. So the first time that you open up your file and you want to add in a new design, either by just typing right on it or taking an image that you've saved out of another piece of software, you could have created a design in Photoshop or Illustrator or Silhouette Studio. The first time that you bring it in, it's just going to come in straight up and down. There's not going to be an angle on it. It's not going to be curved to shape the coffee mug. It's just going to be straight up and down. So it's going to look something like this. So you can see this is very much a square shape just sitting right on the mug. Now in for this image, it's not too bad. You could probably get away with doing this, but there are a few tweaks you can make to make it look better. And that would be to curve the text slightly to fit the shape of the mug. So right now we're looking at the plain square version. If we curve the text slightly, then it looks like this. And I don't know if you saw the change there. It was very subtle. Just look at this area. But it fits the shape of the mug a little better. I'm going to click back and forth. So here's the shape that doesn't fit as well. Here's the shape that does. It just looks a lot more natural, you know? And then you can go in and do a few more things where you change like the overall color of the image. So what I did was I created a hue and saturation layer up here in the layers palette. If I turn that on, you'll see how the, the image overall changes. I'm going to click on that. It just is a little bit more desaturated, looks a little bit more interesting, less like I just tacked some red text on top of an image. And I also noticed that this, the light is coming from over here. It's hitting the corner of the coffee mug. <clears throat> and then there's a shadow on this side. So to make the text fit in more naturally, I went ahead and added another layer on top that mimics that highlight. And that looks like this. So this looks way better. Looks much more natural, I think you'll agree. Fits right into the image. And this is all created right in Photoshop. So one of the fancier things that I did to this template file is when I made the shape that fits the mug, I turned it into a smart object. And the way a smart object works is now that I have a shape fitting my mug, I can add anything I want in there and it's going to always fit the mug and it's always going to look nice like that. If I double click on the thumbnail icon where it says smart object, it opened up a new tab right here. It's called layer1.psb. So this is where I pasted in my design. If I make any changes here, um, like I'm going to color it blue. You'll see that up in the tab corner, there's an asterisk. That means that I haven't saved the change that I just made. So if I hit save, I'm just going to do that on my keyboard with Command S. The asterisk goes away. I know that it's saved. If I go back to the original file, you can see that it's now updated to be blue. Very, very easy. Now, what if you didn't want this to say your design here? What if you wanted an actual pretty uh, shape or design that you made or a logo. We can do that in the Smart Object too. So here's another design that I had created. It's actually, it comes with the Silhouette Studio design software. So if I turn that layer on and I hit save, then when we go back to our main image, guess what's going to be there? Yep, you got it. Here's our shape. It's curved slightly to fit the mug. The highlight and saturation are still turned on. It looks very natural, very nice, and your mock-up is ready to go.